This is uh, Huat Guan from Flinders University. Um, today we are going to talk about the hydrological processes occurring when rain falls on vegetation canopy. And this content will be useful to understand how vegetation on the land surface redistribute rainwater and how vegetation harvest or carved precipitation and also it's good for us to understand how vegetation influence aerosol deposition and overall it helps to understand the um, water balance on land surface altogether okay now look at this uh, photo I took uh, in somewhere in south uh, south China and is a bamboo forest and in this situation the is rain right so in this environment think about a question like this how big a rainfall event is required to wet the soil in this environment you can immediately wet the soil using the first raindrop right because you have canopy at least two level or maybe in some places at three levels canopy. The top level is bamboo, right? And then the second one in some area you can see other needle leaf uh, mm, trees. And then on the ground you have a lot of the uh, grass. So to answer this question, and we do need to know what happened when rain drop for on this vegetation canopy. Look at the photo. Now, first one, of course, some raindrop. It's wet the leaves, right? And think of the tree. It not just have leaf. They also have stem, branch, and some. It wet these stems, right? And then some may uh, fall through the gaps between the leaves and to the ground directly. And these we call it through fall, okay. And some that uh, previously stay on the um, on a leaf may now drip by wind or maybe the uh, the storage is full now, so the the may drip from this wet canopy to the ground, and these we also call through fall. Okay, now some may flow along the stem to the ground and we will term called stem flow right and then some previously stay in the leaves or maybe uh, uh, on the let's uh, on the leaf not in okay on the leaves or on the stems they evaporate right uh, for some time and these we call interception it's important to understand this okay so here we talk about three uh, terminologies uh, three words through for stem flow and interception now how does these influence water balance right we need to understand so I put all these quantity here the first one is rainfall is the atmospheric uh, the precipitation bring water to the surface from the atmosphere Okay. Now, some of these become through flow, some of them become stem flow, and and then some actually loss uh, by interception. That water is evaporated back to the atmosphere. Okay. Now think about that. What part of the water eventually get to the surface, ground surface? Which part? Is that right? Through flow and stem flow. So these are two parts of water, uh, the, the process is to bring rainwater to the uh, uh, ground surface. Now, uh, what's the relationship between rainfall and all through flow, stem flow, and interception? Right? That is another water balance equation. These you sum all this together. It's interception stem flow and through flow and that equal to rainfall okay 
Now think about two questions, and then we're going to discuss them in class. So, what factors influence interception loss? Right, you have event uh, of rainfall fall into onto a, a different surface. They may have a different interception lo loss, right? Or even the one surface in the one event and next event, they may have a different interception loss. So think about it. What factors and how they influence, right? What factor influence or how they influence influence interception loss? And another question, you think about other environment. Uh, I show you two uh, examples. One is palm plantation. And the other one is eucalyptus woodland. And how much interception loss can be in this uh, environment? So let me show you the photos of these two uh, surfaces. Left hand side is a palm plantation. You look up to the sky, you can see these, uh, the photo shows the canopy characteristics, right? Now, right hand side photo is the uh, eucalyptus uh, woodland. So they are quite different. Okay? Now, to answer the question, interception loss, when you think about how can we measure this interception? How do we measure? We, do, we need to measure the, all the water intercept by the canopy, and uh, including leaf, branch, stem, and then eventually evaporate back to the atmosphere. To measure that, it's very difficult, right? And in hydrology, these equations, we call water balance equation. In water balance equation, and sometimes we want to measure one quantity, it's difficult. And then we may measure other quantity in the equation, and then by solve the equation to estimate that. For example, for this one. So we have interception, stem flow, and through flow. The sum of them equal to rainfall. We now know that it's difficult to measure interception, right? So we have to measure other quantity so that we can estimate interception. Now to measure others, uh, to, to estimate interception, we need to measure all others, like rainfall, stem flow, through flow. Right? Okay, I'll show you some example. So in this uh, environment, so Based on this equation, right, we measure rainfall here in the open uh, area. Look at that rain gauge above of the canopy, right? So, so that we measure directly rainfall. We call it bulk rainfall. And we have rainfall now in this equation. And then we also set up a lot of the uh, collector under the canopy. So that is to measure uh, through fall, right? So we measure through flow. So in this case, we didn't measure stem flow. So this is because we assume that stem flow uh, in, is relatively smaller compared to through flow. So we, uh, because of the limitation by like resource or uh, the, uh, the technicians right, or students help, we lack of that, so we can't do that stem flow. We and then we know that stem flow compared to through flow is small, so we neglect that. So then we uh, uh, the interception. If you use this equation and just measure through flow and rainfall, we will we will overestimate interception because we didn't uh, measure stem flow. Uh, it's in some situation it's acceptable. Now and stem flow. Uh, it can be measured well. So this one to show you to uh, how to measure stem flow. We actually uh, attach a, a gutter, stem flow gutter, to the stem, main stem, to measure that. Right. Okay. So now the last photo I like to show you is this. Is a uh, there's no rainfall at this time. Okay. But you can see a lot of fog just flow. Uh, uh, on the canopy, and this fog can wet canopy as well. So if canopy is wet, so you will see some through fall, some stem fall, but there's no rainfall, right? 
So in some situation, this happens, and these can become important component of land surface water balance. So this is something that uh, we need to consider. If that happens, we need to consider. Okay, okay that's it for today. I'll talk to you in class.